Hello, happy Friday. It's Friday Sews today and it's December 2nd. I can't believe it's getting closer to Christmas. So I pulled out my snowflake earrings and 17 ideas on Christmas gifts you can make. And a lot of these are super quick and easy and beginner friendly. And some of these are a little bit more intermediate that might take a little bit more time, but not too much. So I'll have a link in my description box for the tutorial on how to make each and every one of these gifts. So let's get started and find out which one of these do you want to make for your friends and family. Okay, first up is one of my most easiest tutorials is, is a quick and easy coaster. And these have just one seam and you're done. It's super easy. And I have another video that has how I add applique to these coasters and just tie them with some pretty string. Number two are lanyards. You can make lanyards for a sports fan or for school. You can personalize it by finding fabric that your gift recipient will love. And I have a tutorial. And on my tutorial, I show you how to make this lanyard with no bulkiness. See, there's, it's all smooth. And I have a special technique of how I put this together and it's smooth all the way around. No bulkiness. So check out that link if you want to make a lanyard for someone special in your life. And number three are towels. Beautiful kitchen towels to hang on the oven door. I show you how to sew this to the, to the pot holder and add a button and this will fit around your oven door. You unbutton it, put it around your oven door and button it again. And that way when you dry your hands, it doesn't fall on the floor. And this is just a few, some, some ideas. You can pick out pot holders and towels to match your family or friend's kitchen and they will love these. These are always a big seller at the craft show. Aren't these cute? And these make great hostess gifts too, besides Christmas presents. So that was number three. And number four is cloth napkins. In my tutorial, I show you how to make cloth napkins with a lining. These make great gifts. I love using cloth napkins. They make me feel special. So pretty. And you can make them whatever color and design that would match their kitchen. Cloth napkins is number four. And number five is an apron. I have a tutorial on how to make this lined apron that has three pockets. One, two, three. And I also have an apron that is reversible. That's number six, but I don't have it with me to show you. But when you check out the link in the description box, you'll get to see what that one looks like. It's an apron like this, but it's reversible. One fabric on this side and a different fabric on the back. And number seven is disguised as a lipstick, but it's really a sewing needle holder. And I took an old lipstick tube and I turned it into a little pin cushion to take my sewing needles with me on the go. Isn't that cute? So much fun to make too. Clackers is number eight. Number nine is an eyeglass holder. These hold my sunglasses. These is quick and easy for a beginner to sew, made out of a pot holder. Number 10 are earrings made out of plastic trash. Number 11 is a pillow made from somebody's favorite t-shirt. And I also have another video that I will link that where you, sh where you can make a pillow out of someone's button up shirt. So those make great gifts too. And the way I cut the t-shirt, it creates a slip cover in the back and I use the hem of the t-shirt. Number 12 are greeting cards. These I watercolor painted, which take a little bit more time. 
And then you can package them like this with a little bow. And for a quick and easy version of this, you can take a calendar, a picture of a calendar, and I show you how, how to cut this so that you can create beautiful cards from a calendar. These were super quick and easy to make and stacked in a nice little stack with a ribbon would make a cute gift for someone that likes to send cards. Aren't these pretty? And this was all made from one picture and the way I cut it is the, um, is the trick. Number 13 is a placemat organizer. Mine hold my Tombow pens, but you can make one of these to hold somebody's makeup brushes or um, paint brushes, crayons, markers, whatever your, whatever you want to make it to be. But that's a super quick and easy out of a placemat. And number 14 is a sock snowman. Isn't he cute? Now on this one, I use puffy paint for the eyes and nose, which is really good to do if you have children. On my tutorial, I use something different, but you may not want to use those with children. But check out that video. This is super quick and easy to make. You can make this little guy in about 10 minutes. Number 15 is an adorable little newborn sock baby. Isn't she cute? She even has her little umbilical cord. And depending on what size sock you use, you can make a teeny tiny little baby too. And number 16 is my boho pillow. This is super fun to make. Look at how fluffy. This was like a tie-dye um, fabric that I used. But if you use black, it would create a whole different look. Or gray or whatever color you pick, it, it will come out unique and different. Made especially for that special person in your life. So check out that video on how to make this boho pillow. And last but not least, number 17 is a blanket. This is a minky and a flannel blanket. And in my tutorial, I show you how to sew Minky using no pins, no clips. You'll have to check it out to see how much easier it is to sew Minky with my hack. Well, that was my 17 ideas. Comment below and tell me which one you're, you want to make as a gift. Thank you so much for joining me today. Merry Christmas. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.